what's up everyone and welcome back to the farm now today hopefully without uh, getting rained on we're gonna try to mow the last of the hay which is prairie which is about five acres pretty close to that I'm guessing but I'm gonna pull up radar cuz I got some showers up north there's a shower off over towards the northwest here but I'm gonna pull up radar just in case that there's anything nearby and look at future scan of course then too and see if I can mow hay down now if it gets rained on at just after I get get it mowed well it's not gonna hurt anything as long as we don't get a soaker with showers and as humid as it is and it is hot we're at 95 degrees right now with some scattered thunderstorms looks like things are dissipating and according to future cast about 5 30 it looks like it's going to rain uh, start over at noon and it will play through to now and then future cast they're saying a thunderstorm about five o'clock looks like it's gonna come through or dissipate one or the other i don't know we're just gonna take the risk at this point and go with it anyways i'm going to hook on to the mower over here do apologize if you're getting a bunch of plastic noise with me holding this i'm trying to work on some audio to be able to fix this but i'm gonna have to hook on to the mower and also air up the tire that is on this side because it is squishy which we will need to take it off and figure out why it is leaking looks like i run over some glass but anyways i will get things going get things set up and i will have to drive to the bottom end of the gantz place here and I'm only one person so at some point I'll have to walk up to my truck here which we are guessing that this probably won't be ready until Thursday we'll see here I'm sorry that I'm just jabbering and not really doing but I, it's been a few days and just want to give you an update of what is going on what we're thinking anyways uh, after hay is done here when we get it all done our plan is to uh, work on three-point sprayer and get uh, a sprayer going because we haven't sprayed in a few years and we're planning on spraying some trees some pasture try to get some things killed back to where it's actually decent uh, hay ground again it's not like it's horrible hay ground but some of the hay ground needs some attention and it wouldn't hurt anyways uh, anyways I will put this on time-lapse and let you watch me hook this thing up and of course check the oil and go on from there yeah so anyways without further ado let's get started Three. Just checking some things over and I knew that I had a bent section here. But I also have a broken guard right here. So I will change the guard definitely. I'll see what I can do with this uh, section right here. I, I can't bend it, I know that, but it is definitely bent. And it's obvious it's been getting hot right there. 
which ain't good on things. So, anyways, I'll put it on time lapse so you can watch me deal with this. of it I was running in third gear it is definitely some thick stuff but uh, yeah so it is about 530 and I'm gonna walk up to my truck which is all the way up there on top of the hill because I come down here and dropped off the four I'm just gonna leave 4010 down here I just threw my throw the point in the back of my truck when we need it down here but uh, yeah I get a long walk I have the other one on time lapse so you get to see me walk up the hill anyways so I'm gonna grab my truck grab my stuff off of the 4010 and then I think I'm gonna go look at our sprayer and see what size of hoses we need and what links get it wrote down so then we can get that much farther 
towards that so we can work on it and get get to spraying even quicker so anyways i'm gonna get up to my truck and then go from there there's definitely some rain showers around so hard telling if we'll get anything doubt it mounts to anything really because that's the way it's been here lately if we have been getting a shower so anyways yeah